This video is part of the New Hampshire Astronomical Society's Library Telescope Program. This is a program in which we've placed astronomical telescopes into public libraries to be borrowed the same way as you would borrow a book. The purpose of this video is just to simply explain how this telescope works. This telescope is a Newtonian reflector, which works a little bit different than your spyglass type of uh, telescope. With this telescope, um, the light gathering is not done by an objective lens at the front, but rather the light information is gathered by a primary mirror located at the back of the telescope. So the light information comes in here in the front, goes to the back, is collected by that mirror, brought to a focus back near the front again, it hits a diagonal mirror, and then bounces up through the eyepiece which is where you look. So basically, um, the light comes in here, and you look to see the information here through the eyepiece. Now, when you use a telescope, you are certainly magnifying a small piece of the sky. And it's not always easy to know exactly where the telescope is, is looking. Uh, so to help you point the telescope exactly at what you want to see, we have an electronic finder here called the Easy Finder 2. And basically, all it is, is you turn it on, and you look through it, and it's just a little window. And when you turn it on, uh, a little red dot appears in the center of that window. All you do then is align that red dot right onto the object you would like to view, and then that object should be dead center in your field of view when you look through the eyepiece. And that, that's all there is to it. The telescope is mounted on what we call a modified Dobsonian base. It's just a swivel base, okay, back and forth for your azimuth direction. And with this tension knob, you can uh, uh, raise and lower the telescope uh, to the elevation that you want. Very easy to operate. Uh, a modification that we've made is uh, the eyepiece that we use now is a zoom eyepiece. So basically you have four eyepiece settings all in one. So that eyepiece never has to be removed uh, from the telescope. Also we have an equipment pack that has uh, a, a, an instruction manual in it. It has a constellation guide uh, published by the uh, Audubon Society. And we have included also uh, a headlamp uh, that you wear on your head and so your hands are free and you can illuminate the area uh, at night where you're, uh, where you're viewing. And then when you're ready, you can switch it to uh, a red light uh, setting on here, uh, which allows you to see things and illuminate things, but uh, you do not lose your uh, dark adaptiveness of your eyes with the, with the red light. So the, those are some things we've added to the, uh, to the little pack here on the side. Uh, another helpful thing that we've done, uh, one of the first things people look at uh, is the moon, which is a great object to take a look at. Uh, but not only is this, the moon being magnified using the telescope, the brightness is also magnified, and it can be quite bright. And so to cut down on the glare of the brightness from the moon, uh, we have a little section that we've cut out of the dust cover. So if you put the dust cover back on with that section removed and now pointed at the moon, uh, you still see all of the detail of the moon, but it's not quite as bright on your eyes. So uh, that's something you can, uh, you can experiment with. Maybe if it's a, just a crescent, thin crescent moon, um, you won't need to use this. But uh, you can figure that out for yourself. The only other thing that you're going to require for this telescope is some kind of a platform, a table, a bench uh, to place the telescope on so it's the, uh, the proper height for your viewing. And um, the last thing I would say, there are, there are just a couple of things that you don't do with the telescope. First of all, uh, don't ever point the telescope at the sun. You can risk a severe eye damage or blindness if you do that. Uh, don't take the telescope apart. If you have any problems, check with your, uh, with your librarian. Uh, especially also, don't, don't try to clean the eyepiece. 
If you think the eyepiece is dirty and needs to be clean, again, uh, let the librarian know and uh, they know how to take care of that. If you have any questions about the telescope or about our library telescope program, uh, maybe you're interested in starting one in your area or whatever, please do not hesitate to contact us. Uh, our website is nhastro.com. Thank you. Clear skies.